My name is John. Um, I'm actually from USA. Uh, I've been living in India for about well, 2002. I first came, uh, so that's like 17 years. Uh, I've been living on this farm here for 11 years now, uh, just outside of Bangalore, uh, Sarjapur Road, Delhi Public School. Um, Hamsa Farm is the name. Hamsa Farm is actually a name uh, from taken from uh, our cow actually, who didn't have a name. So she was named Hamsa because she was breathing very heavy the night uh, when we first got her, didn't have a name yet. She was breathing very heavy and uh, the next morning I woke up and the first thing I, I found in this book was about hum and sa and hum is the exhale, sa is the inhale and that, that, that kind of resonated for the cow so I named her Hamsa and then after that uh, our name just came because uh, we didn't have a name for like about a year and then um, well, Daniel Greenberg who was the He's the director of Living Roots, the program which I was part of when I came to India the first time. Uh, he was at our farm and he said, you know, Hamsa is a great name, why don't you just name your farm Hamsa? And so then we did. So on Hamsa farm, we've been here for 10, 11 years and um, a lot has happened here. Um, firstly, we're uh, trying to be a wolf friendly farm, a traveler friendly farm. Uh, if you want to learn about farming, you can come out to our farm. Like, that's the whole point. Uh, it's, it's a six acre farm, but by myself I'm not able to do everything and, and it, besides it's more fun it's more, it's, and we get more done when there's more people around. So um, that said, like we've had lots of people come, lots of uh, individual people, lots of, um, foreign, like lots of uh, uh, school groups and small kids and big kids and adults and like probably more than 2,000 people have come to the farm. So, it's not that it's a, a bad thing that, that, that our farm doesn't have anybody on it right now, it's just that uh, we would like more people and so um, this is a call to all of you interested in farming and wanting to get out of the city and, and really like experience a different way of life, um, you're welcome to come. It's a permaculture farm, so that means that we're trying to do lots of different things. Um, so firstly, it depends where you're living, where you're staying on the farm. For us, that means here now. So our our farm is now starting from this area and moving out into the farm. This is zone one where we need all the vegetables which we cook every day and the herbs and the, the things which we use every day, the compost pile, you know, stuff like that. Then outside of this will be the more bigger vegetable patch. After that is a uh, fruit orchard. And then after that, like the farthest zone is a, a forest. So like that, it's happened. Here also, we planted a lot of forest trees in the beginning, all around the outside of the farm. Um, we set up a lot of different houses, uh, small guest houses for uh, woofers and, and people who come uh, to learn and to, to stay for a while. So one other thing is like uh, that at Hamsa Farm, you can come and uh, stay for a night or two nights or whatever. Mm, we're, oh, we're opening a homestay basically uh, on the farm. Uh, so you can come, we have tent for you, bed, everything set up. Um, you can stay in a capsule, in a hut, or uh, out in the field.